I'm Bobby G. Jones. Shut the door and take off your hat. And listen, Bobby J. Jones. There's a convict being released from the Canyon City Penitentiary today. He's looking for trouble. Give him some. I don't want any trouble in my town. Well, me and my boys, Skeeter and Peppy, all he can handle. First place he'll probably head for is Weed City. Oh, we'll find him. Then he could take a mind to come on up here to Gun Hill. Never happened. His five double eagles. For that, you watch him. Oh, we'll watch him. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Whichever way he heads after leaving Weed City, you let me know. For that, you get another hundred dollars in gold. And don't wink that little eye at me again. I'm not buying a killing. You kill him and you'll get nothing. Maybe even something a little worse. Man finishing a stretch in a place like that, Mr. Foley, must be pretty old. <laughs> and about my age. Man got a name? Clay Lomax. Clay Lomax? On his way, Warden. I should have kept those. I was counting on you getting in a fix and coming right back here. I ain't getting in any trouble till I find the trouble I want. I'll say this for you, Warden. You've been one mean son of a bitch. Likewise. I know you hate me, but not as much as you hate somebody out there. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Kansas City, once it's coming through. Oh, ah, uh, number 12 from Kansas City, tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Oh, uh, give or take an hour. Is Trooper still in business? Trooper? Oh. Now, I don't get up on my account. Yes, he's, he's still in business. Uh, right down the street, right next door to... Next door to what? Didn't quite hear you. Bank. I started the bank. Stockman's Bank. Yeah. seeing ghost what the hell are you doing here i just wanted to see if there's any of my blood still on the sidewalk it wore off
let you out or you bust out. And nobody busts out of Canyon City. Sure don't seem like seven years. It does to me, I done them. Well, you would have gotten out a heap sooner if you'd named the other man. So they said. Hmm. Shot you in the back. Must have been a stranger, huh? Nope. You know him. Didn't. Did. My partner. Sam Foley. Oh, I'll be. Well, that's what they call water under the bridge. Yep. Where is he? Who? Oh, Sam. Oh, no. he's long gone. Gone where? He's gone. Say, there's no charge in that drink, uh, Clay. Um, nice to see you back. See, I bet I know something else you ain't had for seven years. All of them new, fresh off on the farm. A real live bunch of rubber dollies. Ain't one of them over 20. Sam Foley. How much? How much? $200. Yeah. It ain't much. That's all I got. Now, where is he? Well, where's the $200? There's a woman been holding my money in Kansas City. Here, Kansas City. Hell, that's rich. Ain't no woman kept nothing for seven years. On the way. Be here tomorrow morning. Why do you have it sent to weed? It all started here. That's the last place I saw him. Well, it ain't much money for him. You don't know how bad he's gone. Respectable bad. I'd probably get twice as much money from him to, for not telling you where he is. Say I told you where you could find Sam for $200. Uh, what would you do? Pay you and kill him. Muchachas! Hey, Gramps. Four quarter bourbon, new bottle. I don't know as you're old enough. Oh, well, now we're old enough, and you're too old, Gramps. <laughs> you want glasses? I just put a nipple on a bottle. You watch your mouth. This here is Bobby J. <laughs> Bobby J. <laughs> That's such a divine name, I just couldn't say no to a drink. They call me Alma. Well, now, Alma, how old are you? 20. Well, now you still got a couple of good years left. <laughs> Did you take this old whistleberry? I'll bet he's a hundred. <laughs> now, that's old enough for five people. Ain't that right, Skinner? <laughs> if he was a turtle, he'd be young. I heard about a turtle lived to be 400. <laughs> <laughs> what did people took to living that long? Alma? How'd you get that shiner? What'd you do, rub some fellow the wrong hey, way? Rub some fellow the wrong way, you get it? <laughs> People ought to be like dogs. Get too old, just shoot them. <laughs> and it's gonna come to that. If it don't, there ain't gonna be enough room. Well, who say who to shoot? Well, now me, honey. Yeah, sooner or later come your turn. Because if you live, you get older. And if you live long enough, you get old. Pepe, do y'all hear something? Huh? Do you hear it, Alma? Uh, Bobby J? Come on, Bobby J, let's go snuggle. <laughs> Y'all want to snuggle? Yeah. <laughs> well, now they want to snuggle too, Alma. Yeah, well, sure. Crime any sakes, I got Lulu and Pansy and Bertha. No, nah, nah, we got you. No. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, Alma, come on now, these are my boys. No, just you and me. And then you and Skeeter, huh? <laughs> All right. Three musketeers. Pepe, last again. But grateful, mighty grateful. Another six bits for that bottle. Just keep going, Gramps. You ask me, the old ones ought to shoot the kids. We were talking about Sam Foley. Get your money and we'll talk some more. Emma. Emma wouldn't still be around, would she? Emma, come here. Oh, Clay. You still give them good neck poppers, Emma? Turn around. You mad about something? Oh. Rockpile? Mm-hmm. He's hot all over. I don't want to hear about it. We'll talk. But hell, I always liked that fella. So did I till I stopped. That where they dug the bullet out? Yeah, they dug it out of there. But they didn't dig it out of your mind. Bobby J! Come on, Bobby J! Let me in! Will you shut up for Christ's sake? Come on, Bobby J! Let me in! Will you quit power?
<laughs> You're disturbing the peace. Peace of what? <laughs> Just cut out the jokes and keep the noise down. <laughs> you got your stomping boots on, Bobby J. Stop it! <laughs> Is a broke off weapon. I'd like to break the rest of it off in that big buck's liver. Watch, you said, but don't touch, you said. Nobody's ever slapped me, not even my father. Don't forget what Mr. Foley said about not killing. <laughs> Tried to kill you. We'll try it again. Not much of a horse. Good as I could get for not much cash. Well, I guess he can carry you and all that money. I hope your memory's as big as your mouth. Want a lot of answers for all that money. You'll get them. Hey, Lomax, you know a party named Teresa Ortega? I got something for you. My name is Decky. My mommy told me to call you T.O. Clay. That means Uncle Clay. What the hell is this? It's just what it looks like, a small female child. I was told to deliver her to you. My mama says you always wear a Texas hat. That's a Colorado hat. I was expecting an envelope. Is there any rule says I got to take it? No, no company rule. We uh, got to take down water. Make up your mind, mister. Her mother started out with her, but she died just outside of Kansas City. From what? Men, a doc said. Wouldn't even have been 30. Looked more like 50. Anyway, we took her off and buried her. Well, uh, what happens if I just leave her on the train? To you? Nothing. To her. Well, the first town we hit that's got a marshal, I hand her over. Wait a minute. We found this piece of paper pinned on the kid. It's got your name on it. What do you expect from a man who changes his hat?
Decky, huh? What's your last name? Ortega. No, that's your mother's name. What was your father's? No, got a father. Well, everybody's got a father. You, uh, about five years old, maybe? Six going on seven. Six going on seven. Well, how does it come out? Was you there or was you someplace else? She didn't have her name pinned on her for nothing, huh? Well, somebody's got a mean sense of humor. Mean to you or her? There ain't no law says you've got to accept shipment. I can't hold up this train waiting for you to figure out a way to weasel out. Watch your mouth. Forget it, mister. I'll just turn it over to a marshal somewhere down the line. Maybe you'll be better off. A man who changed his hat? Oh, hell. Come on, kid. I won't! Come on. I don't want to go with him. Is that it? Yeah. If you don't get this, if you didn't take that. Please don't leave me here, please! Please don't leave me here, please! Don't leave me! I don't want to go with you! On Limber! I won't! Don't, I'll drop you on your fat little rump. Put me down! How many sugars? Four spoons. I says to him, I says, do anything you want to set, and please don't touch my poor eye. Well, that was it. Red flag of the bull. Did he smack you? Yeah, right in the eye. I'm so dumb. I should have known. They just got to do whatever it is a girl says they can't. I got just the thing for you. I sell these little bastards to the bar fighters for a dollar each. Just never thought of one in connection with a female. What the hell are them? Real live Mexican bloodsucker worms. Leeches. Them's leeches. Draw the color right out of the skin, Alma. No. Shoot, honey, I wouldn't do you no mean trick. Watch. Now, put one of those on your cheek, you get a complexion like a newborn baby's. Jesus. You know something? What? I forgot to collect my money. From them three fellas? Yeah. I didn't know what to charge. Just powder your little eye and drink your coffee. Collecting money. That's what men are for. <laughs> Now, who would do a thing like this to a man's property? Some NorCal shag tail with a knife, and he must have done it like this. All them damages go on your bill. Look, mister, don't rile him before breakfast. I'm going to take an inventory of every last item, you damaged bird or busted. Pour us some coffee. Pour your own. Pour. What are them things? <laughs> well, that's her breakfast. No. Ah, you joshing me? Oh, she'll eat. I'm old Alma here. She'll eat anything. Here. Come on, now. Eat them things. Come on. Oh, oh now. Why are you a bone girl? Bobby J? What? All he done was meet a train. Well, did he get on that train? Uh, nope. Oh, that's very interesting, Skeeter. Come on. What else did he do? Well, he stole a little girl. About so high. It looks like he's bringing her back here. No. It sounds like that old bank robber's going white slaver. <laughs> now you hear that, Alma? You're through. Lomax is bringing in your replacement. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna eat them things? Well, now, sure, she's gonna eat them things. Want to see her do it? Oh, Alma! You give me my damn money! What money? For last night! Oh, that hell you owe us! Now, Peppy, what you figure we ought to charge? No, no, she had a nice roll in that little grouch bag. Oh, right. <laughs> no! <laughs> Give her back her poke! Give her back her poke and stay down! You tore hell out of that room and you're gonna pay! 
We ain't paying for nothing, Gramps. We're getting paid. Peppy, check and see what's in that cash drawer. Where's your eyes, boy? I got a gun on you. Well, now, I declare, you have drawn your gun on me. Bobby J, why'd you do that? Self-defense. He's dead. Nah. Oh, yes, he is. Well, that's right, Skeeter. Three Musketeers. Next. B.J. Jones, I swear. What, is our blood brother going back on his solemn word? Go on, get the money out of the drawer. You know how to cook? Wrong! You know how to cook. You just hide on. Come on. Come on, now. Get Trooper! Tell Clay. Clay is gone. Gun kill. Get your feet hurt. My mom says no cowboy ever walks when he can ride. Right there, I'll wail you. No, you won't. It's Trooper. Them three kids shot him. They did? Yeah. And then they left, took Elmo with him. Anybody go after him? Nobody yet. Before he died, he said your name and something about Gun Hill. Gun Hill? Yeah. <laughs> I'll pay her way. Sorry. Never had kids. Never wanted none. I'd run away from you anyway. It seems to me that, like you'd be the right one. She's got to go to school anyhow. I can't board any children. It's all I can do to teach them. Now, what do you teach them? Look out for yourself? Yes. No. I'm pretty sure you are my last hope and refuge, the only person left in this town I can turn to. I suggest you turn this responsibility over to the marshal. The law? Turn her over to the law? No, preacher, you know I've done bad things in my day, but nothing that bad. Reverend, you are hard of heart. I say you are mean. Perhaps, but not mean enough to try to get rid of a child in her presence. Soap? No. Well, I have. You stink. You gotta have a bath. No! Now, shut them rags. No! Get them off, or I'll do it for you. I won't!
What did you say? You bastard stink pot! You say that again, and I'll scrub your dirty little mouth out. I finish with you, I'll take mine. Are you my father? What kind of a fool question is that? Now, since you're so curious, me and your mama was friends once, a hundred years ago. You're not an uncle. Nope. I sure had a lot of uncles, but all no good. Mama said no man was any good. Almost every time she came to visit. Visit where? She lived with other ladies. I stayed with folks. What folks? Different ones. The last ones didn't want me to keep my cat. They threw stones at her. As long as they didn't hit her. They did hit her. They killed her. The place I'm taking you to, they're old friends of mine. I'll let you have a cat. I don't want any more cats. You got a real nice place, the Nelsons. Real farm. Still far peace. We better get going. That ain't the way to Gun Hill. Why don't we forget it, Bobby J? Tell Big Sam he cut out for Mexico. Get our money, huh? Oh, now you're thinking for me. No, no, no. I'm sure having a fine run of cards. And it looks like the Nelsons had the same. smell of hard times. Are you funning me? Nope. Ain't nothing else smells that bad. Let's fix us a campfire. Show you how we make that stink go away. Cook. You point a gun and I tell you I can fly and do walking on water and turning sticks into snakes. Well, now you told me a lie. Yes. Yes? What? Told a lie. Well, now don't you think you ought to be punished for that? Punished? I got one eye swole shut, the other smoke blinded. I'm too stiff to stand up and I'm too sore to sit down. <laughs> Plus, I'm sunburned. How are you going to punish me? Oh, there's ways. Bobby J, let me rustle us up something to eat. That girl is a mess. Well, that's true. She is a pitiful mess. But I want her to cook. And when I want someone to do something, they do it. Now, you see anything? Here's Lomax and settle down for the night. Got a nice fire going, too. How high are you reckon a man can flap a jack? Yep. Stole it in midair. Stole it? Stole my flapjack? Cooney birds, the only thing on Earth can eat one of them darn things and still fly. Maybe that's because they fly backwards. Fly backwards? They keep the dust out of their eyes. They live on flapjacks, chewing tobacco, and hard rock candy. Damn you, Cooney bird, oh, bring no, it no, back! No. Cussing won't fetch nothing from one of them. Here, you give me your plate. There's an Apache magic trick that'll get it again. Now, you keep it covered. Held tight. 
Why well, we say the magic words? Got to hell tight. Tight. Repeat after me. Hokey pokey. Hokey pokey. Dominoki. Dominoki. It didn't work. Of course it worked. It always works. Did you look? You swallow it down now and get some sleep. We got places to go come morning. Can you ride a horse? I'm doing that now. No, I mean by yourself. Of course I can. They always let me ride when I worked at the livery stable. At the livery stable? Well, what kind of a job did you hold down? They let me shovel out the stables. Oh. What did they pay you for that? I told you. They let me ride the horses in when they got back. Well, if I'm going to drag you all the way to Gun Hill, what you need is a pony. I'm going to cut out that little sorrel for you. That's stealing. No, no, no. They're wild horses. They don't belong to nobody. And the next ranch we come to, I bet I can swap that little colt for a saddle pony. Come on now. Get out. Nice little gentleman, ain't he? Can I pet him in the nose? Just don't let him take a hunk out of you. I know. Ah! <laughs> you can't steal him. I won't let you. You're trying to put me in my place? Stealing. Well, you are tougher than wang leather. Back to the tip. That's wang leather. It's something that don't come apart in the rain.
Ain't no doubt about it. He sent it toward Gun Hill, all right. Yeah, that's all I need to know. So, we cut across Whiskey Hills and tell Mr. Foley, right? Wrong. Man wants trouble. about that coach. You ain't even done that about your mother. I wasn't took it away from her. She was took it away from me. Wang leather. Again? Don't get snake bit. up to him yet. I want to have some fun with him. Shoot him? Shoot him? That isn't enough fun, Alma. You don't have any imagination, do you, honey? Neither in the bed nor out. And you know he is right, Pepe. No, I don't. Uh -uh. No, sir, you seem to forget I spent that night sitting in the hall listening. We're making it up to you now, Pepe. Let you ride with her. Don't she feel good? Huh? <laughs> Damn, look at that thing! What? What's this? That thing's whooping! Yeah. She done split my britches with her big behind. <laughs> I can't help it. You want me to ride this old horse, Jaybird, naked? Well, now, that's bad, Elma. You know what happens to bad girls. Oh, yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't, Bobby do Jay, don't do that. Now, what's the matter, Peppy? Don't you like to have fun? Well, sure I do, but... Well, all right, then. We're going to have some fun. Yes, we are. I think you're a horse crazy. And nicer than people. How'd you like to have him? Concerned it's tomorrow. Just sleeping one off. Seems like I've seen that pony before. Well, it could be. You got him out of your corral back there. You want to get rid of him? If I did, I'd have left the gate open. For a little scrub like him, I figure he might be worth uh, a couple of dollars. He's got a sentimental value. Belonged to my late wife. Why don't you put a sentimental price on him? Oh, uh, twenty dollars. Got a saddle goes with him. My late wife. Late meaning flew the coop with a knife grinder. Saddled, I'd uh, run you another 10. Be a nice outfit for the little lady. He's just trying to smooth me down. Why, that's so, little lady. What, what for? He's been trying to dub me off every place we go. I could stay here, then you wouldn't have to buy me a pony. Let's get on with the dicker. Mm, 15 for the pony, five for the saddle. 15 for the both. Count out your money. Your name is El Sueno. That means dream. The name happens to be Fatty. El Sueno!
won't eat that. Why not? Rabbit's good. Makes me feel my cat, and I won't eat it. What the hell will you eat? Flapjacks. Can't eat them things every day. Let's take a look at them legs of yours. They're all right. You go eat that cat. Why don't you speak up? That saddle rubbed them raw. That's my good Indian jacket. It's about to become your good Indian vest. These will make good leggings for you. You spoil my jacket, and I won't wear any leggings. You'll wear them. One more day like today, and your feet will break off. No, I won't. Bed down for the night, looks like. Peppy, take over. Move! Yes, sir! <laughs> yeah, General. You got yourself one hell of an army. Give me puff, honey. I gave you an order. Yes, sir! Gerard Falk for not doing what you were told. Now get out there and watch. Guns. Right here. Put your hands on your heads. Turn around. You still carry that knife in his boot? Get it. Friends, they took turns gunning old trooper in his wheelchair. Shot him in the belly, so he died real slow. You know what happens when you get shot in the belly? 
Well, you can't move. You can't breathe. You feel yourself filling up with blood, with pain, and you can't die. Lomax, you know I got a man covering you? You had a man. This is his gun. Don't shoot me in the back, mister. Please, don't do that. You've been trailing me. Why? Who sent you? We got orders to do you no harm. When we done you none, please. Who? Don't nobody do no talking. You tell him. Don't let him shoot me. Sam Foley, that's who. And what Skeeter told you is true, mister. They got orders not to kill you, just to follow you and let him know you're coming to Gun Hill. Does Foley know? He sure does. And I'd think hard on that if... You bitch! Any more? I'm leaving you your horses, punk. Maybe I'll see you again. Just do your little chore, punk. You tell him I'm coming. Just tell him. trying to murder another rabbit. Rabbits don't carry guns. Oh, shut up and ride. Bobby J, let's stick to the road. Get to Gun Hill a lot faster that way. Oh, well, shut up. Maybe he's right. Way Lomax is going, he won't get there for tomorrow morning. And we gotta let Foley know. Not without my gun. Grumpy like a father. Your mother ever tell you who your father was? She only told me he was a good looking bastard. child in out of the rain. It's a shame to track up your floor. Well, let's bring that child in here and ring her out. Come on, let's dry you off. Miss Farrell. But I've filled my shirt till next week. Good. How about your shirt? It's not my shirt. It's his. More coffee for Mr. Lomax, Dutch, honey. Where do you go to school? I don't go to school anymore. I'm all through. So soon? Well, where'd you go before you graduated? Kansas City, Kansas. Oh, my. That must have been very interesting. 
You got a school around here close? No, sir. Ma's been teaching me at home. Next year, he starts at Gun Hill. I like coffee. I'm almost as old as you are. Sure. That isn't real coffee. That's what my mama called tender coffee. Oh, it'll be tough enough when you get it into you. <laughs> Gonna sleep in here with you. We won't crowd each other. Where is he gonna sleep? There are two bunks in Dutch's room. Is that what you call Mr. Lomax? He? His first name is Clay, but I don't call him much. Now don't you get too settled down there. I gotta be moving on the minute this rain quits. Oh, that won't be for a while yet. The creek's up, and that means my boys won't be back in the bunkhouse till tomorrow morning. So you settle down all you want to, my dear. Is a real nice woman for a lady. She's bringing her boy up right. She's got a fine place here. Not a bad spot to hold up. And a nice hayloft to play in. Like as not? Not for me, she says, my dear, but I'm not her dear. Go to sleep. You're not gonna skin out on me. Go to sleep. I won't stay here. You'll stay where I plant you. Uh, what's that letter? The first one. It's an A. What's the next one? M. How do you know? <laughs> I can read. I can also write. How about arithmetic? Numbers? Well, I worked in banks. I bet there's still things I could teach you. Lots of things. You go to sleep, damn it. You're in a big damn hurry just to get out there to her. No cussing. I'll soap your mouth. A lot of guns going to rest. Want me to hold them down? No, thanks, son. Just leave them be. Well, I'm going to bed. Good night, sir. Good night. If you're going to burn coal oil, my friend, take one of your school books. I ain't that wide awake. like a fair enough boy. He's got his faults, but he's my son. You do that pretty handy. Actually, I'm a bit rusty. First time I've poured a drink for a man since my husband died. Five years. Is Jackie your daughter? Well, looking at it from over there, what would you say? One minute, yeah. But the next minute... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I ain't sure myself. Is any man ever sure? Oh, well, with some women. <gasps> do you really believe that? Or do you just want to believe it? That child troubles you, doesn't she? Well, I guess I feel sorry for her. Because she, uh, she'd be mad in the hell if she knew that. But she don't even know how little she is. It seems to me. She'd shy off pity, like most people. I've been trying to find somewhere to board her. I'd pay. I'll keep her for you. No pay. No, no, I'd have to pay, as long as I could. Uh, there is something that might come up that would crimp me. 
You're a generous woman. Selfish. This is female practicality. You leave her here, you'll come back. Cards on the table, I might keep on moving. I'll take that gamble. I could, uh, I could spin you some kind of a tale about being a wandering willy, or I could, uh, I could make you some damn sweet promises. But there is that kid in there. And, uh, you ought to know it all. You're looking at a man that just got out of the pen. You don't have to tell me anything. You better know about this. Seven years ago, my partner and I picked a bank and pulled a job. My partner, my friend. Call it double cross, call it betrayal. Now you see, there's something I got to do. And it might put me back there. I'll take that chance. You sound like a man offering a man a job. I'm not a man. The offer stands. I'll keep the child. And there'll be no more talk about tomorrow. Throw the dice, flip the coin, come what may. It's always now, really. Isn't it, Clay? Now? I said I hadn't poured a drink for a man in five years. <laughs> That's true. But when my workmen are in the bunkhouse and Dutch is in his bed, I pour for me until I'm drunk. Do you understand? Until I'm drunk enough to turn off the tomorrows and a little bit more to turn off the now and a little bit more to sleep alone. Leave it to a range bull, finally on the dry ground. You didn't do like I told you. Like you told me. Go on, Peppy, empty that artillery. Throw it out in the yard. You're a piss-ant punk. I should have stepped on you back there. In just a little while, you're gonna be sorry you didn't do just that thing. You know them? Oh, not like he's gonna. You got your guns, punk. Keep on traveling. No. Gun Hill's just down the road. They got two whorehouses, a hotel, and Sam Foley. Is there anybody in there? There's nobody your size. Get in here. There weren't nobody in that bunkhouse. I have four men working this ranch. They'll be back from town any time now. Ooh, well, now I'm getting scared. They'll be liquored up and wearing their guns. And if I were you, I'd get out of here. There any guns in there? No, sir. I believe you. You better take a look, Skeeter. There any guns in that other room? No. Well, now, I believe you, too. But Skeeter won't. You take a good look, Skeeter. Oh, take a look in there, Skeeter. Got, got rid of them guns and put our horses in the barn. Well, I got another job waiting for you. Well, make it quick. I'm hungry. Quick? The dummy here wants me to make it quick. 
That old man just warmed a lot of us on account of him sleeping on duty. Now, can you imagine that? Bobby J, don't start that again. You will ride one mile down that mud road to Gun Hill, and you will sit out in that rain, and you will wait. And if you see any ranch hands riding up, you're going to fire your gun three times in the air, and then you're going to get back here. Damn! You said what? Nothing. Cover you. Make them go away. Is that old man your hero, huh? Yes, he's my hero, and he's tougher than both of you put together, so you better watch out. Baby child, don't you know? Don't you know he's just an old jailbird and yeller? He is not yeller. <sighs> it's not gonna do nothing, baby child. If I was to slap you, he still wouldn't do nothing to stop it. Because you got guns! You, Cook. You, you tend to the horses. That's right, baby child. We got the guns. Don't unsaddle them. Just grain. Move, boy. What's she to you? She's my mother. You be back in 10 minutes, or I'll shoot her in the chitlins. <laughs> I told you we'd have some fun. Fine. I ain't last since I met you. Now, is that a way to talk to your man? My man wouldn't let me stand about in these wet clothes. Maybe she ought to take him off, huh? <laughs> Peel. Come on, do it over by that fireplace so I can watch it turn all nice and rosy. Come on, do that thing. Not in front of the children. Well, you just keep cooking, Mama. You ain't no angel. <laughs> Seen that through the window. Didn't get to see it all, though. Well, we will, by and by. Don't push your luck. Come on, get over there. Move. dishes up there. No, they're keepsake. They belong to my grandmother. Well, they're too damn old. They've been around here long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that hand. No, sometimes I don't think it needs me at all. <laughs> hey, hey, little boy. Happy. Huh? What about him? Bet you a dollar he'd done the smart thing. Such as what? He cut out. You shut up. Now, Peppy is stupid. What the hell? He's too stupid to come in out of the rain. <laughs> another dollar he's dry. What? In the rain? Rain, hell. He's in Sam Foley's house by now. Maybe we ought to ride on in, huh? Now, that man is trying to pull your leg. Now, he's trying to split us up. Now, damn, let's get on with it. Let's get some fun. Mama, give me that cup up there. Give me that one with the roses on it. <laughs> oh, come on, Mama. Now. Have you folks ever heard the story about the Switzer who shot the apple off his son's head? Fellow by the name of William Tell. Well, now what we need is a son. And damn if we don't got one. No. Well, now maybe we can use you. Well, now I didn't hear you say no that time. Well, now the story says it was a kid's head, so any kid will do. So you can say which one. Well, all right, then. I'll pick the head. <laughs> Not him. OK, then you, over by the fireplace. Why don't you use my head? Move! Go on, put this cup on a noodle. Then put it on your own, kids. What do you know? A little lady gun. Yeah. Damn. Somebody forgot to put both the caps in. Oh, and I wanted him to see this. That is shooting. No, my hand was aiming at the handle. 
Wasn't you aiming at the handle? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, boy, you get me the next cup. Give me that one over there with the flowers on it. Scaredy cat. No! You little son of a bitch, you leave her. I think that rain done let up. <laughs> okay, Mama, next. Hand me that little cup over there, the one with the daisies on it. Well? Well, what the hell's the matter with you? Uh-huh. Oh, I see, sure. Well, now, it says it needs a little nerve tonic. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, what do you think, Alma? Do you think my shooting hand is steady enough to perform? I cannot stand the sight of you in those clothes. Before you do take them off, you get to shoot the next one. Come on. One try? Huh? Huh? <laughs> around, Lomax. Now you stand right there till you hear my horse. You move, and she stops moving. Get out the lights. My gun's on the table. How about Decky and my son I'm having to make that choice? Been the other way around. If it'd been my daughter, I'd probably have done the same. Put on your clothes. I'll get the horses. Damn kid. Get down. No. Come on, I need your no, horse. This here's my horse. I don't want you riding the hell out of my horse. He's a good horse. And you'll only kill him the way you kill every damn thing that you lay your hand to. You should not have said that, Peppy. You really shouldn't have, Peppy. <laughs>
is the God's truth, Mr. Foley. A cup of coffee? Well, sir, if it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to have a drink of that whiskey. It's over there. Well, I'm really sorry to be tracking up your real nice floors like this. That's bad news, Bobby J. I'm sorry to hear that. Now, sir, you did say he was trouble. But that order of yours about not shooting? Mr. Foley, I lost my two best friends because of that order. Bobby J., why don't you go on over to the hotel, get a hot bath and some sleep? We'll settle this up later. From now on, I'll take care of Clay Roman. Well, now, if it's all the same to you, sir, I prefer my money now. All right. Why didn't you want him shot? By you? Yeah, by me. I've killed men before, Mr. Foley. No complaints. So I've heard. So has everybody heard and heard it from you. When you buy a killing, Bobby J, you sell yourself. Now, a reliable professional killer is a close mouth man. Me? I'm a businessman with a reputation to protect, or is that putting it too bluntly for you? Oh, no, sir. That's putting it real nice. I mean, I know my place. Yeah. What are you going to do when Lomax gets here? I'm going to ask him to come in, sit him down in that chair, give him a drink and a cigar, and say, well, Clay, what's on your mind? I lose two men so you can give Lomax a cigar? A drink and a cigar. Now, here, 100, 20, 40, 50, 80, 200. That's double what I told you. Now, get out. What about Peppy and Skeeter? What am I going to tell their poor old families? Also lost a horse and a, a rifle and a couple of handguns. <laughs> Who the hell are you? I, I keep house for Mr. Foley. Is there anyone else to home? All right, get over by that window. And if anybody gets in, you're going to get the same thing that your boss got. You were carrying them. Bring it on over here. fun too, much as the next man. But I get less of it. Half, huh? Let's split it right down the middle. You and me. Where's Dickie? Well, put that gun away, I'll tell you. Get over here. Right there. No, I don't see any fancy teacups around, but I do see an apple in that bowl. Get it. Get it! Put it on his head, and don't get between us. Ever hear of a Switzer? Name of William Tell? I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to put this gun away. Then I'm going to draw, and I'm going to shoot that apple off your head. You think you can stop me? You draw. She ran off when I was changing horses. She run where? I don't know. Fun. You had a lot of fun with them kids, didn't you? Put one of them little whiskey glasses on his head. Hmm. Here's your second chance to draw. Hmm. 
Next target. I'm going to supply the next one myself. You're going to appreciate this because you like fun so damn much. Ma'am, now you keep to one side and balance this cartridge on his head. Take it. I'm going to make you draw, punk, because I want to see it the way Trooper saw it. Fun and jokes. And here's the snapper. If you don't draw and I hit that cartridge, it's going to blow your head off. I could miss. That's a lot smaller than a teacup. And you're a lot bigger than a little girl. Oh, well, what's the matter? Huh? It says it needs some nerve tonic. You're gonna kill me and do it! But don't stand there and mock me, not now! Shoot me! Or give me a chance! Come on, you wanna give me a chance? Huh? Yeah. You all right? Huh? You ready to give him a chance? Huh? It says it's ready. Fetch the law. I see you finally got a new hat. That's not a Texas hat either. Oh, uh, what about it? Oh, nothing. Are you my father? Oh, you asked me that before. Are you going to start that again? Not if you don't want me to. But why did you come back? I'm damned if I know.
I'm Bobby J. Jones. Shut the door and take off your hat. And listen, Bobby J. Jones. There's a convict being released from the Canyon City Penitentiary today. He's looking for trouble. Give him some. I don't want any trouble in my town. Well, me and my boys, Skeeter and Peppy, all he can handle. First place he'll probably head for is Weed City. Oh, we'll find him. Then he could take a mind to come on up here to Gun Hill. Never happen. His five double eagles. For that, you watch him. Oh, we'll watch him. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Whichever way he heads after leaving Weed City, you let me know. For that, you get another hundred dollars in gold. And don't wink that little eye at me again. I'm not buying a killing. You kill him and you'll get nothing. Maybe even something a little worse. Man finishing a stretch in a place like that, Mr. Foley, must be pretty old. <laughs> yeah, about my age. Man got a name? Clay Lomax. Clay Lomax? On his way, Warden. I wish you'd have kept those. I was counting on you getting in a fix and coming right back here. I ain't getting in any trouble till I find the trouble I want. I'll say this for you, Warden. You've been one mean son of a bitch. Likewise. I know you hate me, but not as much as you hate somebody out there. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Kansas City, once it's coming through. Oh, ah, uh, number 12 from Kansas City, tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Oh, uh, give or take an hour. Is Trooper still in business? Trooper? Oh. No, I don't get up on my town. Yes, he's, he's still in business. Uh, right down the street, right next door to... Next door to what? Didn't quite hear you. Bank. I started the bank. Stockman's Bank. Yeah. Limber. I won't. 
don't, I'll drop you on your fat little rump. Put me down! You hate me! How many sugar? Four spoons. I says to him, I says, do anything you want to say, and please don't touch my poor eye. Well, that was it. Red flag of the bull. Did he smack you? Yeah, right in the eye. I'm so dumb. I should have known. They just got to do whatever it is a girl says they can't. I got just the thing for you. I sell these little bastards to the bar fighters for a dollar each. Just never thought of one in connection with a female. What the hell are them? Real live Mexican bloodsucker worms. Leeches. Them's leeches. Draw the color right out of the skin, Alan. No. Shoot, honey, I wouldn't do you no mean trick. Watch. Now, put one of those on your cheek, you get a complexion like a newborn baby's. You know something? What? I forgot to collect my money. From them three fellas? Yeah. I didn't know what to charge. Just powder your little eye and drink your coffee. Collecting money. That's what men are for. <laughs> now, who would do a thing like this to a man's property? Some NorCount shag tail with a knife, and he must have done it like this. All them damages go on your bill. Look, mister, don't rile him before breakfast. I'm going to take an inventory of every last item you damaged, burned, or busted. Pour us some coffee. Pour your own. Pour. What are them things? <laughs> well, that's her breakfast. No. Fuck! You joshing me? Oh, she'll eat. I'm old hammer here. She'll eat anything. Here. Come on, now. Eat them things. Come on. Oh, oh, oh now. Why are you a born girl? Bobby Jack? What? All he done was made a train. Well, did he get on that train? Nope. Oh, that's very interesting, Skeeter. Come on, what else did he do? Well, he stole a little girl. About so high. It looks like he's bringing her back here. No. It sounds like that old bank robber's gone white slaver. <laughs> now you hear that, Alma? You're through. Lomax is bringing in your replacement. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She gonna eat them things? Well, now, sure, she's gonna eat them things. You wanna see her do it? Oh, oh Alma! You give me more damn money! What money? For last night! Oh, that hell you owe us! Now, Peppy, what you figure we ought to charge? No, no, she had a nice roll in that little grouch bag. Oh, right. <laughs> no! <laughs> Give her back her poke! Give her back her poke and stay down! You tore hell out of that room and you're gonna pay! We ain't paying for nothing, Gramps. We're getting paid. Peppy, check and see what's in that cash drawer. Where's your eyes, boy? I got a gun on you. Well, now, I declare, you have drawn your gun on me. Bobby J, why'd you do that? Self-defense. He's dead. Nah. Oh, yes, he is. Well, that's right, Skeeter. Three Musketeers. Next. B.J. Jones, I swear. What, is our blood brother going back on his solemn word? Go on, get the money out of the drawer. You know how to cook? Wrong! You know how to cook. You just hired on. Come on. Come on, now. Give me... Trooper. Oh. Play. Play is gone. Gun help. Bet your feet hurt. My mom says no cowboy ever walks when he can ride.
sit right there or I'll wail you. No, you won't. It's Trooper. Them three kids shot him. They did? Yeah. And then they left, took Elmo with them. Anybody go after him? Nobody yet. Before he died, he said your name and something about Gun Hill. Gun Hill? Yeah. seeing ghost what the hell are you doing here i just wanted to see if there's any of my blood still on the sidewalk it wore off Yeah, out or you bust out. And nobody busts out of Canyon City. Sure don't seem like seven years. Does to me, I done them. Well, you would have gotten out a heap sooner if you'd named the other man. So they said. Hmm. Shot you in the back. Must have been a stranger, huh? Nope. You know him. Did. Did. My partner. Sam Foley. Oh, I'll be. Well, that's what they call water under the bridge. Yep. Where is he? Who? Oh, Sam. Oh, he's long gone. Gone where? He's gone. Say, there's no charge in that drink, uh, Clay. Um, nice to see you back. Say, I bet I know something else you ain't had for seven years. <whistles> All of them new, fresh off on the farm. A real live bunch of rubber dollies. Ain't one of them over 20. Sam Foley. How much? How much? Two hundred dollars. Yeah. It ain't much. That's all I got. Now, where is he? Well, where's the two hundred dollars? Has the woman been holding my money in Kansas City? Here, Kansas City. Hell, that's rich. Ain't no woman kept nothing for seven years. On the way. Be here tomorrow morning. Why do you have it sent to weed? It all started here. That's the last place I saw him. Well, it ain't much money for him. You don't know how bad he's gone. Respectable bad. I probably get twice as much money from him to, for not telling you where he is. Say I told you where you could find Sam for $200. Uh, what would you do? Pay you and kill him. Muchachas! Hey, Gramps. Full quart of bourbon, new bottle. I don't know if you're old enough. Oh, well, now we're old enough, and you're too old, Gramps. <laughs> you want glasses? I just put a nipple on a bottle. You watch your mouth. This here is Bobby J. <laughs> Bobby J. <laughs> That's such a divine name, I just couldn't say no to a drink. They call me Alma. Well, now, Alma, how old are you? 20. Well, now you still got a couple of good years left. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take this old whistleberry? I'll bet he's a hundred. <laughs> now, that's old enough for five people. Ain't that right, Skinner? <laughs> if he was a turtle, he'd be young. I heard about a turtle lived to be 400. <laughs> <laughs> what if people took to living that long? Alma, how'd you get that shiner? What'd you do, rub some fella the wrong hey, way? Rub some fella the wrong way, you get it? <laughs> People ought to be like dogs. Get too old, just shoot them. <laughs> and it's gonna come to that. If it don't, there ain't gonna be enough room. Well, who'd say who to shoot? Well, now me, honey. Yeah, sooner or later, come your turn. Because if you live, you get older. And if you live long enough, you get old. Happy? Do y'all hear something? Huh? Did you hear it, Alma? Uh, Bobby J? Come on, Bobby J, let's go snuggle. <laughs> Y'all want to snuggle? Yeah. <laughs> well, now they want to snuggle too, Alma. Yeah, well, sure. Crime any sakes, I got Lulu and Pansy and Bertha. No, nah, no, nah, we got you. No. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, Alma, come on now, these are my boys. No, just you and me. And then you and Skeeter, huh? <laughs> All right. Three musketeers. Pepe, last again. But grateful, mighty grateful. A dollar six bits for that bottle. Just keep going, Gramps. Cast me 
the old ones ought to shoot the kids. We were talking about Sam Foley. Get your money and we'll talk some more. Emma. Emma wouldn't still be around, would she? Emma, come here. Oh, Clay. You still give them good neck poppers, Emma? Turn around. You mad about something? Oh. Rock pile? Mm-hmm. He's hot all over. I don't want to hear about it. We'll talk. But hell, I always liked that fella. So did I. Till I stopped. That where they dug the bullet out? Yeah, they dug it out of there. But they didn't dig it out of your mind. Bobby J! Come on, Bobby J! Let me in! Will you shut up for Christ's sake? Come on! <laughs> You're disturbing the peace. Peace of what? <laughs> you just cut out the jokes and keep the noise down. You got your stomping boots on, Bobby J. Stop him! <laughs> Is a broke off weapon. I'd like to break the rest of it off in that big buck's liver. Watch, you said, but don't touch, you said. Nobody's ever slapped me, not even my father. Don't forget what Mr. Foley said about not killing. Tried to kill you. You'll try it again. Not much of a horse. Good as I could get for not much cash. Well, I guess he can carry you and all that money. I hope your memory's as big as your mouth. Want a lot of answers for all that money. You'll get them. Hey, Lomax, you know a party named Teresa Ortega? I got something for you. My name is Decky. My mommy told me to call you T.O. Clay. That means Uncle Clay. What the hell is this? It's just what it looks like, a small female child. I was told to deliver her to you. My mama says you always wear a Texas hat. That's a Colorado hat. I was expecting an envelope. Is there any rule says I got to take it? No, no company rule. We uh, got to take down water. Make up your mind, mister.
Her mother started out with her, but she died just outside of Kansas City. From what? Man, a doc's head. Wouldn't even have been 30. Looked more like 50. Anyway, we took her off and buried her. For love. What happens if I just leave her on the train? To you? Nothing. To her. Well, the first town we hit that's got a marshal, I hand her over. Wait a minute. We found this piece of paper pinned on the kid. It's got your name on it. Expect from a man who changes his hat. Decky, huh? What's your last name? Ortega. No, that's your mother's name. What was your father's? I don't got a father. Well, everybody's got a father. You, uh, about five years old, maybe? Six going on seven. Six going on seven. Well, how does it come out? Was you there or was you someplace else? She didn't have her name pinned on her for nothing, huh? Now somebody's got a mean sense of humor. Mean to you or her? There ain't no law that says you've got to accept shipment. I can't hold up this train waiting for you to figure out a way to weasel out. Watch your mouth. Forget it, mister. I'll just turn it over to a marshal somewhere down the line. Maybe you'll be better off. A man who changed his hat? I'll pay her way. Sorry. Never had kids. Never wanted none. run away from you anyway. It seems to me uh, like you'd be the right one. She's got to go to school anyhow. I can't board any children. It's all I can do to teach them. Now, what do you teach them? Look out for yourself? Yes. No. Pretty sure you are my last hope and refuge, the only person left in this town I can turn to. I suggest you turn this responsibility over to the marshal. The law? You turn her over to the law? No, preacher, you know I've done bad things in my day, but nothing that bad. <laughs> Reverend, you are hard of heart. I say you are mean. Perhaps, but not mean enough to try to get rid of a child in her presence. Soap? No. Well, I have. You stink. You gotta have a bath. No.
Now shut them rags. No! Get them off or I'll do it for you. I won't! Say? You bastard stay put! You say that again, and I'll scrub your dirty little mouth out. <laughs> hey, what about you? You stay too! When I finish with you, I'll take mine. Questions that. Now, since you're so curious, me and your mama was friends once, a hundred years ago. You're not an uncle. Nope. I sure had a lot of uncles, but all no good. Mama said no man was any good. Almost every time she came to visit. Visit where? She lived with other ladies. I stayed with folks. What folks? Different ones. The last ones didn't want me to keep my cat. They threw stones at her. As long as they didn't hit her. They did hit her. They killed her. The place I'm taking you to, they're old friends of mine. To let you have a cat. I don't want any more cats. You got a real nice place, the Nelsons. Real farm. Still far peace. We better get going. to Gun Hill. Why don't we forget it, Bobby J? Tell Big Sammy, cut out for Mexico. Get our money, huh? Oh, now you're thinking for me. No, no, no. I'm sure having a fine run of cards. And it looks like the Nelsons had the same. Scott, have a hoe or a patchy? I don't know. Is it engines? Worse. Worse than engines, Dickie. That there is the smell of hard times. Are you funning me? Nope. Ain't nothing else smells that bad. Let's fix us a campfire. <laughs> 